you have, um, you know, uh, those hearing devices that help you hear. That, that, you won't need them tonight. You so won't need them tonight. It is going to rock the house. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Pat Schweiss, the director of the Sedona International Film Festival. Welcome! be in the house tomorrow and Sunday right here with Mark Rydell. Jane Seymour is going to be here, ladies and gentlemen. We're very, very excited about that. Richard Dreyfuss is going to be here in the Stone Cold Art Center. We're very excited about that. Chris Lemon, Jack Lemon's son, is going to be right here on our stage. And next weekend, the incredible, the very funny, the outrageous and outlandish John Waters is closing our festival, ladies and gentlemen. For being butts in our theater seats. We so appreciate you, and we couldn't do this without you. Give it up for all of you for supporting the Sedona International Film Festival. You are here in the most beautiful place on the planet, here in Sedona, Arizona, and there's one woman who is lucky. I consider myself the luckiest guy in the world to have this job. There's someone who has me outdone. She gets to be the mayor of our beautiful town. Please help me welcome. Sandy Moriarty, one of the most supported people in Sedona for the arts, Mayor Sandy Moriarty. She has asked me to bow and exalt. Some of you know, I used to come to every single event, fire number two gun. Uh, I used to go to every single slot, and I don't have the time to do that anymore. But you will see me throughout the week at the film festival. I'm a huge supporter. And of course, a special thank you to Patrick. Who can replace Patrick? We can never replace him. So, so again, welcome to Sedona. If you're a visitor, we hope you'll stay longer, even beyond the film festival, and do all of the things that we have to offer here. There's a lot to do in Sedona. Of course, it's a, it is the most beautiful place on earth in so many ways. So welcome and enjoy the concert tonight. This is another way we're animated by the arts in this wonderful concert tonight. So thank you again and enjoy. Sandy Moriarty, Mayor of Sedona. Thank you so much, Sandy. And I also want you to remember, uh, Sandy alluded to, we've got the best staff on the planet here at the Sedona Film Festival. So remember, it's Hug a Volunteer Week. Anyone who's wearing those beautiful purple shirts, of course, they're all out working right now, so I can't see one. But anyone who's wearing those beautiful purple shirts, Hug a Volunteer, they respond well to chocolate and gifts. And our box office staff has worked so hard these last three weeks. Lori and her entire team, give it up for our box office staff. They, just if you want to know, <laughs> if you want to suck up to get into a sold out show, they respond well to gift cards, flowers, and anywhere you take them to eat. They're a hungry lot. So um, at this time, I'd like to introduce and welcome and have you acknowledge, first of all, before I bring her up, will our board of directors please stand up? I've got the greatest, hardest working board of directors in the world. Stand up and take my drink and meet them all tomorrow night at the first floor of the event. There they are. There they are. You're going to get to see them and meet them by name 
tomorrow, but I wanted to acknowledge them. And the leader of the pack, my very, very dear friend. She's my boss. She's the head of this. She's the ringmaster of our board of directors, our event coordinator. She is everything VIP, and she's fabulous, and I adore her. Beverly Herf. <laughs> We also want to thank all the rest of the sponsors. You're gonna see them in the program. They're gonna be with pink lanyards on. They donated us a lot of wonderful things to make this festival happen, including from our hospitality industry, over 1,000 room nights to house our VIP and visiting filmmakers. Tonight, we have a couple very special sponsors we want to thank because they made this especially happen for the uh, Larry Dunn Orchestra and the anthology of Earth, Wind and Fire. They are being housed over at Sedona Rouge Hotel and Spa. Let's hear it for Daniel, Ron, Liz Moeller, Ed Conway, and the whole team at Sedona Rouge. And let's give it up for our magic carpet to the stars. Whenever we have stars and celebrity guests, White Tide Transportation takes them around for us. Totally donated, white tie, transportation. Corey, Joseph, David, your whole team. Thank you very much. And tonight, you are treated. When you leave tonight, you get some sweets from Barking Frog Grill. You're gonna get a box of cookies as their way of saying thank you, and let's kick off the festival 21 years in a sweet way. Give it up, Barking Frog Grill. very special for many reasons, and I'm incredibly honored to be here with all of you. It's the opening night of the festival. It's also a very, very rare opportunity for all of us to break the biggest rule of the festival by directly honoring Patrick Schweiss. Patrick simply doesn't allow this. It'll probably never happen again. He always wants the festival to be the first and the foremost in all of your minds. Patrick understands that it takes a village to put on a festival, to run the Mary D. Fisher Theater and to bring all the wonderful entertainment that comes to us. The way that Patrick likes to be acknowledged for his work as director of the festival is hopefully with your support in writing a check to the festival. <laughs> or maybe you're getting tickets, you're enjoying the entertainment, and even if you buy a bag of popcorn, all of these things contribute to make our festival bigger and better every year as we're year round, as you know. And we appreciate your presence in the seats and your contributions, whatever they may be, they're all equally important. In Sedona, we are blessed with visionary artists in all mediums, be it filmmaking, visual arts, or performing arts. Many of you know James Muir and his wife, Linda Muir. James started his sculpting career in Sedona over 30 years ago. He has grown to be a renowned artist with over 60 life-size and monumental sculptures publicly placed throughout the United States and internationally. James created this sculpture. Ah. Daniel Carrera is my Vanna White tonight. Thank you, Sedona Rivers. We couldn't do it without him. James created this magnificent sculpture of a figure standing behind a filmmaker, helping them realize their dreams. James felt this piece, which is an artist proof, should go to Patrick Schweiss. This is about supporting and recognizing all filmmakers, past, present, and future. It is about the people that support the artist. Without the support of people like Patrick Schweiss and all of you, artists, filmmakers, would not be able to create what they do. It is a critically symbiotic relationship. James Beer, could you please stand? He's at the very back, and I know you've applauded for him, but I'd like to point him out. He and Linda Muir in the back are so great. to our community. James and Linda have known Patrick for decades. They have watched as he has given service to our Sedona community in more ways than I can mention, 
and they have watched as he, as our festival director, has led this festival to what it is today. I think we have the best director in the whole wide world for our home. <laughs> Many filmmakers will move on to their own awards. This award is to recognize Patrick for what he has done for many years for filmmakers, the Sedona International Film Festival, and our Sedona community. Here is what is inscribed on this sculpture. Is it right there? In appreciation of the outstanding contribution to Sedona in championing filmmakers, bringing films to this community that challenge and provoke thought, engage and inspire, uplift and entertain. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your one opportunity to honor Patrick Schweiss, the individual. I hope that for the next 20 seconds or so, you will jump to your feet and clap and shout your love and appreciation for this wonderful man, Patrick Schweiss. James, I'll get to this in a little while. We had the privilege of working with James and Linda. He sculpted my children, Kevin and Christina, and they adorned the front of the Red Rock News Building. They are the newsboy at Lady Liberty. And um, my nephew Kyle is the newsboy as well, the other sculpture. So we've worked with and known James and Linda for a really, really long time. And I want them to come up and get as close to this spotlight as I can, because they are the greatest, most wonderful people in all of Sedona. Well, besides me, apparently. Um, <laughs> But, you know, I'll milk this for a little while. Because my staff knows that I hate surprises, staff. And I've been known to fire people who try to surprise me. But that's why they got Linda, because she's no longer on the board. I can't fire her. Linda Muir, James Muir, come stand in the spotlight. This is absolutely the most beautiful thing I've ever been given. Thank you, thank you very, very much. This means more than I can express. You know, I told my, my staff and my wife, I said, you know, as Linda says, my favorite thing, I hate getting recognized, my favorite thing is hearing your applause at the end of each movie, because I know that I and my staff have done what we can and set out to do. So that means more to me than anything else. Gotta say, this is getting pretty up there, though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and I told my family, when I die, I just want a sculpture standing in the back of the Mary D. Fisher Theater. I said, there's a, there's a, an, get working on it, James. <laughs> there's an alcove there by the garbage can. It's my favorite place to watch all of you enjoy a movie. <laughs> Think of me next time you're there. It's where the recycle bin is. <laughs> and I stand like this while you're in the movie. <laughs> so that's the sculpture, James. <laughs> that's what I want. This is pretty cool. They like me. They really, really like me. All right, all right, thank you, thank you everyone. This means a lot, thank you. Be right back. Greg Miller is the reason we have this, this wonderful Larry Don Orchestra here. Greg did a film, which you all get to see here at the festival, called All About Love, The Music of Larry Dunn. It is an extraordinary, extraordinary film. The tickets are going very, very fast. There's two screenings. Greg's gonna be there to host the film. Larry's gonna be there to do a Q&A. Please help me thank the amazing Greg Miller. Yeah. <laughs> Back they're gonna have some uh, merchandise to sell and he's gonna be taking care of that for them. And I just gotta tell you one very fun little short story. So, two weeks ago, right before the Grammys, Larry Dunn calls me from LA on my cell phone and he's chatting, we're chatting for about 40 minutes, it's like nine o'clock at night, he goes, yeah, I'm just past the time because uh, we gotta go to this pre-Grammy party. It starts at 10.30 here in LA. 10.30? Start time? I said, you do know you're coming to Sedona, right? <laughs> That's the middle of Sedona's night. Everyone's sleeping. And you're just going out? 
I said, when you come, just remember, you're going to be, if you don't eat before the show, you're going to be warming up a burrito in Circle K, because nothing's going to be open. <laughs> get ready for the show of your life. Feel free to get up in the aisles and dance. Have a great time here, so proud to present the Larry Gun Orchestra and the Anthology of Hope. Hello, Sedona. What you guys doing hiding up here in the mountains? I'm from Colorado, the foothills. The beautiful, beautiful red foothills. Man, it's so beautiful. Everybody's been so wonderful, so nice. Let's move Sedona to everywhere. I gotta take this off. It's getting hot in here. And I won't take off all my clothes. Mr. Leslie Smith, give him some love. Show him some love. I'm gonna come get this cook. Slow it down here a little bit. S -s wrote a song about it, wanna hear it? chairs with little skinny <laughs> aluminum legs and your bottom got sore and, and then uh, they had what one, one a blue spot they had one spot like and remember that great big mic that looked like somebody's head what was it but you kids you cheerings you're very blessed to be here better recognize give the school a round of applause y'all better be learning something too in all this We're gonna take you way back. Let's see if you remember this one. Oh, oh, oh. Another, another TV? Take this, bro. All 
Are you sure? Everybody say, George, are you sure? George, are you sure? <laughs> You're supposed to answer him, George. I'm sure, y'all. <laughs> He's sure, y'all. <laughs>